Sa previous lesson natin, kinuha natin yung area under the curve using TI-84. Now, ngayon naman, magkakaroon tayo ng mas marami pang examples na kung saan gagamitin uli natin yung ating TI-84 to solve probability or normal probability problems dito sa statistics. Now, tulad ng word problem natin pre sa previous lesson, ito yung average height ng students of Barstow High School from a normally distributed population na kung saan yung mean ay 6 to 7 inches at yung standard deviation ay 2.5 inches. So for today, itong tatlong questions na ito yung sasagutin natin dito sa ating normal probability um, normal probability distribution problem. So yung una nating problem will, will be uh, the probability that a student is shorter than 60 inches. Yung second naman will be the probability that a student is exactly 73 inches tall. At yung pangatlo is yung probability of a student whose height is between 61 inches and 71 inches. Now let's answer the first probability question na kung saan hahanapin natin yung probability ng isang estudyante ay mas mali it sa 60 inches mula dito sa Barstow High School. So with a normal distribution, alam natin na ito yung notation sa pagsulat ng normal distribution sa statistics na kung saan yung unang number is yung mean at yung pangalawang number is yung standard deviation. Now to answer the first probability question which is the probability that a student is shorter than 60 inches, ito yung statistical notation ng ating probability distribution na P of X less than 60. So, ibig sabihin no, na hanapin natin yung probability na kung saan yung X ay less than 60. So, the first step in answering this probability question is to standardize your score using the Z-score formula. So, yung Z-score formula natin, tulad nung ginamit natin sa previous lesson is X minus mean all over the standard deviation. So, ito yung ating Z-score which is 60 minus 67 all over 2.5 which gives us negative 2.8. So once na standardized yun yung score nyo sa z-score, i-illustrate natin siya sa ating standard normal distribution na kung saan yung mean natin ngayon is equal to 0 at yung standard deviation naman ay equal to 1. So ito yung area under the curve na hinahanap natin na kung saan ito, de, ito din yung area or yung probability na kung saan yung estudyante daw will be um, 60 inches shorter doon sa lahat ng students doon sa Barstow High School. So using your calculator, para makuha nyo yung area under the curve, kailangan nyo lang yung syntax nyo na normal CDF, minimum, maximum, mu, and sigma. Na kung saan dito sa illustration, makikita nyo na yung inyong minimum value is yung negative infinity, yung inyong maximum value will be Z of 60, which is negative 2.8, with a mean of 0 at standard deviation of 1. At kapag ka, ginamit nyo yung calculator nyo, yung probability na yung Z ay less than dun sa standardized value natin na negative 2.8 is equal to 0 0.0025. So therefore, yung probability daw that a BHS student is shorter than 60 inches is 0.25%. So, wala pang 1% yung probability na masyadong maliit yung estudyante base doon sa ating mean na 67 and standard deviation na 2.5. So, ito yung answer natin sa letter A. Yung sa letter B naman, hahanapin naman natin yung probability that a student is 73 inches tall doon sa BHS or sa Barso High School. So, ibig sabihin, hinahanap natin yung probability na kung saan yung isang estudyante daw will be uh, 73 inches or exactly 73 inches tall. So, tulad ng ginawa natin sa letter A, ang step 1 natin is to get the Z-score ng ating raw score na 73 inches. So, from Z of 73, using the formula, we'll have 73 minus 67 all over 2.5 na equal to 2.4. So, ito na ngayon yung ating standardized value na z-score na ilalagay natin sa ating normal distribution. So, mapapansin nyo, wala na ako ditong area under the curve or wala na akong shaded region kasi kinahanap natin yung eksaktong probability ng isang bata daw ay 73 inches tall. So, Sa letter A, ang kaibahan ng letter A sa letter B is yung letter A, yung syntax natin is normal CDF. Yung ating syntax naman natin ngayon will, will be normal PDF. So, tandaan nyo lang na every time we use an e equal sign or an equation, o hinahanap natin yung exactong probability ng isang uh, 
normal distribution, ang gagamitin natin syntax is yung normal PDF o yung gagamitin natin function sa ating calculator is nor normal PDF which has a syntax of yung ating uh, z-score and then yung ating uh, mean which is zero at yung ating standard deviation of one. So, ang probability of z exactly 2.4 or equal to 2.4 will be 0 0.0089. So, yung probability ng isang bata daw ay may 73 inches na height dito sa Barstow High School is 0.89%. So, slightly higher doon sa nauna nating probability kasi ito 0.25%. So, parehas pa rin siyang maliit yung probability kasi parehas silang less than 1 yung probability or less than 1% yung probability. At dito naman sa ating pangatlong tanong, hahanapin naman natin yung range of values na kung saan hinahanap natin yung probability of a student whose height is between 61 and 71 inches. So, to find this particular uh, or to solve this particular problem, hahanapin natin yung z-score nitong dalawang raw scores natin. So, yung raw score number 1 which is 61. So, to use the... Um, Z-score formula, 61 minus 67 all over 2.5, yung Z-score ng 61 inches is negative 2.4 sa ating standard normal distribution. At yung Z-score naman na 71 will be 71 minus 67 all over 2.5 will give us 1.6. So ito yung dalawang Z-score na gagamitin natin para sa pagkuha ng no probability na ang isang estudyante daw ay in between these two measurements. So, Yung area under the curve using our illustration, ito yung z-score na negative 2.4 which is nasa left hand side ng ating standard normal plot at yung ating 1.6 na z-score ay nandito naman sa right side ng ating standard normal distribution. So ito yung area under the curve at hahanapin natin yung area under the curve using the calculator. So once again, hindi lang naman tayo limited sa paggamit ng calculator. Pwede rin natin gamitin yung table of values natin doon sa ating mga libro at ituturo natin yung sa darating na lesson. So ito yung ating area under the curve. Ang gagamitin natin ngayon will be normal CDF. So, hindi siya normal PDF, ito ay normal CDF. Kasi area under the curve yung hinahanap natin. So, yung ating syntax will still be the same, minimum, maximum, mu, and sigma. So, ang ating minimum ay negative 2.4, kasi ito yung pinakamababang value, at yung pinakamataas na value will be positive 1.6, so ito yung ating maximum, with a, standard, with a mean of 0 and the standard deviation of 1. So using your calculator, it will give you the value of 0 0.9370. So therefore, yung area under the curve between negative 2.4 and 1.6 is equal to 0 0.9370. So yung ating probability of a BHS student whose height is between 61 and 71 inches is 93.70%. So, yan yung paraan ng pagkuha ng mga area under the curve or pagsagot ng probability question using a standard normal distribution.